I have outdone myself. These hacks are legitimately life-changing, mind-blowing. They're all so good, especially the ones towards the end though. I'm so sorry, I saved really good ones towards the end of the video. Again, they're all great and they're all involving different areas of your life. So we're gonna start in the fashion category because we love clothes, I mean, we do. And some of us just have smaller closets or smaller spaces. And so this hack involves buying these super cheap little hooks. Who would have thunk that these hooks could do so much, but they will literally quadruple the amount of clothes you can fit in small spaces or small closets. You just hang them on hangers and you can fit so many more clothes in areas you didn't even think was possible. So I love this little hack. The next hack is so good. I'm telling you guys, I just love all of these. But if you have a pair of jeans that are just a little too big, maybe way too big, maybe you lost weight or maybe you bought them and you thought they'd be okay and then you just realizing like, these don't fit at all, just like what you're seeing here. Like I've had these jeans for a while and they're just way too big. And so I found the these buttons on Amazon. Everything that I share in this video throughout the entire thing, I can link below. But these buttons, they come, they're so cheap. They're so cheap and they come in so many different metals. Um, so like gold, silver, and you can actually create a new button instantly in like four seconds on your pair of jeans. And so that's what I'm doing here. And then you can cross over the jeans so that they fit you perfectly. And this whole crossover style is also very in style right now. It just hugs your hips, it hugs your waist, it makes your butt look great, and it allows you to instantly wear whatever pair of jeans didn't fit you before. Moving right along to my next fashion hack, which will save you so much money on your favorite brands. So I have teamed up with ThreadUp for this video. I absolutely love ThreadUp. I mean, guys, really, if you have not shopped at ThreadUp before, they're the world's largest online thrift store, so you can get secondhand pieces like of brands you love at insanely good prices. Okay, so I'm gonna share some of the pieces that I recently got, share some of the prices, your mind will be blown, um, but I am gonna have them linked down below and they gave me the best discount and code they've ever given me. My code is Shay for 40% off your first order. Okay, so again, I'll have them linked down below. I'm also gonna have my favorites list. They recently launched this where I can favorite a lot of pieces that I think are super stylish and you guys can shop my favorites. So I'll have that down below. But let's start with what I'm wearing, which is this Free People top. So the estimated retail is $127. We all know Free People is very expensive. The quality is great, but I paid ThreadUp's price of $25 and 20 cents, which is so much better. And the condition is basically brand new. So what I like to do when I'm shopping at ThreadUp is narrow down the items by my sizes and my favorite brands. That way, everything shown to me are pieces I really like and I know will fit me. I have a couple more quick outfits to share with you, but just consider shopping at ThreadUp for fall. Like if you wanna update your wardrobe or your closet with some new fall pieces, like some sweaters or jeans or whatever, you can really, like I said, save so much money. So this next outfit, okay? I was kind of going for like a fall vibe here. This Zara blouse, literally brand new with tags. The tags are still on and it. The, the price, the estimated retail, it's not even estimated. It's literally, it was $49.90 um, and I paid ThreadUp's price of $22.40. These faux leather pants, okay? They're by the brand Showpo. The estimated retail was $64 and I paid $15.40 for these beautiful faux leather pants. And then there's this outfit with the crocheted sweater. I just love the color combination. It's just a little bit different for fall. And then these jeans, again, completely brand new with tags. I paid $17 for these jeans and they fit me great. They're flared, they're a little bit different than what I have. So again, I will have ThreadUp linked down below. Such a good hack for saving money. Next, we're going to create our own eye mask that will instantly depuff and brighten your under eyes. So you just need some yogurt and coffee grinds. And I have an espresso machine, so I can just take a scoop of that from when I made coffee that morning, but you can just use grounds from a can too. But once that's mixed, you can just apply it directly under your eyes and leave it on for at least 10 minutes. Together with the yogurt and the caffeine from the coffee, it instantly depuffs, brightens, and it makes you look more awake. And you know there are good, clean ingredients in this mixture, and it also saves you money on this type of expensive skincare since you can just cover it up and use it throughout the week. And while we're talking about coffee, I also have to share this next hack with 
with you if you're continually grossed out by the smell of your garbage. Just get some super cheap ground coffee and sprinkle it into the bottom of your garbage can. You can do this inside or outside, but without fail, this always works. You'll smell coffee and not your disgusting, gross garbage. Next, I wanna share a makeup foundation hack that will, again, blow your mind. I use this every single day. You need to stop worrying about matching your foundation perfectly to your skin tone. Just, just here's an example. On one side of my face, I have super light colored foundation. The other side, pretty darn dark. Like they're completely different, completely different shades. In the end, I'm going to make these look identical. All you do for lighter foundation, you add some contouring, like some bronzer contouring where the sun would naturally hit you. On the dark foundation side, you're gonna add some lighter concealer under your eyes where you want your face to pop and you blend everything in and it literally will turn into the perfect shade. You just work in the areas that you want to fix. And again, I use this every single day. Our skin tone and our complexion is always changing and this works every time. Another lovely beauty hack is creating your own dry shampoo. It I just spilled my coffee. You can make healthy dry shampoo that actually works. And so I'll put the recipe here on the screen. I mean, you need some type of flour. I use coconut flour. You could use arrowroot flour. You need some baking soda that will help freshen up and clean your scalp. And then cocoa powder if you have brown hair like me. So that just helps with the color. And it also just smells really good. So you just mix it all together. There's not even any specific ratio, but once it's all mixed, you get a fluffy brush, like a fluffy makeup brush dab it into the, the mixture and then dab it directly onto your hair wherever it's greasy. And then, you know, brush through it. It will instantly soak up the oils and it's a much healthier dry shampoo that really works. And then this next hack was a complete fail. I just thought I would put it in the video to show you that I'm always testing out different tips and tricks and hacks. And a lot of times it just doesn't work. And so I specifically burnt the bottom of these breakfast bars that I make every single week Week in order to test this out, I saw a hack where if you, you know, burn cookies or muffins or whatever, you just get a food grater and you just grate off the bottom and it's good as new. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Uh, it didn't work at all. I tried and tried and tried. I thought maybe I needed one of those big like cheese graters, but I feel like that would just shred it. I don't know. I just thought I would share because most of the time I'm kind of wasting my time with these hacks, but this hack, oh no, no, no. I did not waste my time with this hack. Do you know when you are like just at the end of the bottle of like ketchup and it's like, you can't get it out. It's just squirting gunk everywhere. Um, it could be ketchup, mustard, barbecue sauce, anything. This hack I saw and I was just like, this is ridiculous, but you could just get more ketchup, but there, there's always so much more left that you can't get. So you just take it and you literally swing your arm around like a, a propeller on an airplane. And within like four seconds, all of it is at the bottom, perfectly ready for use. It just, it just glides right out. This, this is, a gem of a hack. Okay, now we're back to the kitchen, but again, be sure to stay to the end for a hack that will blow you away. But this is a really cool trick to dry your dishes after running the dishwasher. I know a lot of people have, you know, a drying mode, you know, but some people don't. And then others, it just doesn't even work that well. So if your dishes are still wet, all you do is simply put a towel inside for like five minutes. All of that extra steam, moisture, condensation, it'll all be sucked up into that towel and your dishes will be dry. This next hack is amazing for cleaning the discolored grout that you probably have everywhere. So what I used to do is mix equal parts baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. This is a really cheap cleaning hack that works super well, but I have since switched to the pink stuff. This is also super cheap. It'll last you forever. You can use it on literally anything, but I think it works a little better. So you just put this paste on whatever you want to clean, let it sit there for a few minutes, and then I like to use this scrubber brush, especially on the tile and grout, and it will make it look brand new. Again, the hydrogen peroxide and baking soda hack also works great, so feel free to use that instead. Okay, so now I'm gonna share two hacks that will get rid of your hiccups 100% of the time. Like this is steel proof. These work, okay? Uh, they're both very easy. The first approach would be to simply take a gulp of water, but you don't swallow it, and you bend the whole way down and you swallow the water while you're kind of upside down so that it's kind of goes against gravity, okay? Now I'm gonna show you what's wrong. A lot of people try this and they don't do it correctly. Do not just like half bend over like that. That is bad, that is, that's not going to work. So there's that first approach. Then 
The other approach, and this is also really, this my friend did a whole like master's thesis on this. Her name's Abby, so I did not, I did not discover this. If you sip water through a straw, it could really be any liquid through a straw while your ears are plugged, it like changes the pressure in your diaphragm or something like that. There's some science behind it and it will instantly get rid of your hiccups. So you're welcome. Now, this is one of my favorite tips of the entire video. It's how to prevent apples from ever turning brown once you cut them. This truly is game changing, especially if you have little ones where you pack their lunches, you can actually cut up apples and they won't go brown during the day. So all you do is cut an apple, it doesn't matter what kind, and then you simply rinse them with water. You just rinse the slices with water. It's as simple as that. And so before I did this, I did take out one slice that I did not rinse. I set it aside. Even in this time span of me rinsing the other slices with water, it was already starting to turn brown. But then I pulled out a slice that I did rinse. I put it side by side. I waited many hours. I think it was between four and five hours. We came back and checked in. And as you can see, the one is turning brown. The other one is not. This works so well. It will blow your mind. Everything that I talked about will be linked down below, including ThreadUp. Don't forget to use my special code SHAY for 40% off your first order. You can also shop my favorites. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.